I've cut cake that is it ends up being a piled abomination. Let's go for it. We don't know who Henry is. We don't know if Henry is a singular or plural, but Henry has done it again. Hello and welcome back for episode number three of Gain's Job On. It's been a while, but um, I've gotten through four more pages and we're gonna discuss some of the clues on them. Now before we start, I just wanna, I've been thinking about this for a while and like I can keep prowling off all these clues and not really connect them to anything because I don't know how to connect them to anything, but I feel like I have to find an easier way also for you guys to just look up the clues or see what's going on or what I've found out. And to do that, I've just made like a very simple, very basic Excel document. Um, and I've put them in Google Drive. You can find the um, link for that in the description box down below. Um, so you can kind of figure out like all the pages I've done. There are like now eight pages in there in total, which includes the four that we're gonna discuss today. You guys can also follow along or maybe click on it, open a different tab and see what clues we found in total. I'll try to like update them as much as I can before the new video comes out. Consequently, I've also decided to not like mention every single clue that I found on a page because there are frankly a lot of them and I think that some of them don't mean anything or don't mean anything spectacular. And I think some of them are just kind of like small winks or like either with a small word plays or stuff like that that I think just are I really enjoyed putting in there, but I don't think that they hold a lot of weight into figuring out who has been murdered and who's done it. Page number four, which is this beauty. Things that I realized about this, like obviously we are going through the piles of the UK. So I've made, pie in the first video, I've made several piles of like clues that have that kind of come together or like mean something that like oh they're all like all over the page i had this really big stack of the uk we've also realized that that when it's probably england and scotland so page number four i think it's a person having like some type of food or drinks or whatever across a church how this person describes where they're sitting what they're getting what they're looking at who knows? And close to cliffs. So that's kind of where we're going. I also like it says with one of the sentences, the rain that came heavily is drying off lightly, which I figured um, it means it's like not super, like it's not a scorching summer day, which well, to be fair, it's UK. It's so another thing that there are like very scorching summer days very often, especially on N34. So, but I'm saying it's probably spring. It talks, one of the first clues that I found was Maestro Jimson's title. When we look at that, I figured out that it is from the book, The Wrong Box, by uh, where J.B. Jimson, which is Master Jimson's, which is like a composer, because maestro composing music, who was trying to write an opera, um, and he gives the opera the title The Orange Piku, which is a very famous TV land, which we've also realized is from, there are like a lot of bits and pieces of other pages that also talk about tea. Um, so yeah, this person preferred tea instead of the piled abomination. So I feel like it's a type of food, so I don't really, I'm kind of on the fence like, okay, how does someone go from tea to food? I bet the previous page will show it to us. And then it was, it mentioned Henry, naturally. Who Henry is? Is Henry multiple Henry? Is there one Henry? Is Henry everywhere versus Henry nowhere? We don't know, we just know that there is at least a Henry involved in in some of the stories. Yes. And then people mentioned that the father Sir Weedon once saw Henry taking the part of Le Surquet. That's not how you say it, but it mixed him up with Le Surquet d'Hiver, which is French. 
Um, so the first one, Henry Irving played Joseph Le uh, in a play, The Lions, Lyon, the Lyon male. Um, very interesting. Henry Irving was the first person to get knighted, like the first artist to get knighted, and he was the inspiration for Count Dracula, as is being said. So I was like, hmm, that sounds shady. Count Dracula killed people. Does Henry kill people? He could be. He could be. Then we have Le Soeur d'Hiver, which is like a place in Paris in the 11th arrondissement and is, was initially named Cirque Napoleon after Napoleon. And I thought that sounds interesting because I've read other bits and pieces that relate to Napoleon as well. Um, we're talking Corsica, we're talking a lot of other places and bits and pieces of his history and his conquest. Um, so I wrote it down because I feel like it might be interesting in future. And that's kind of the main things in this one. So the next page is page number 47. We start off the page with um, the version of Bob's, which is like, is this a person? Um, is this the murderer? What's going on? Then it talks for a very, seems like, crowned with two straight downfalls as it were of copper upon her head. The first part of that sentence relates to King Lear, who um, divided his crowns amongst his two daughters, Regan and Goneril, and that also leads to his misfortune and downfall. It's like, is it this Bob's downfall? Is she the reason that other people passed away, got murdered? Henry, again, Henry mentioned again, not a lot of context to have given to him. He's just like not pleased about what two other people are saying. What two other people are saying. At the end though, we're talking about um, the sentence is, um, she's strong enough to wean me from my thoughts of Orange Piku to a special Orange Supreme. Orange Piku, like we've just mentioned, is the T. And then the special Orange Supreme is kind of vague. I thought I found like a cake version. It's like muffins. It's a type of dessert. Is it a tea kind? There's also some mention like that's like a sort of a tea. If this person wanted Orange Piku, like we mentioned in page four, like the last page, and they chose special orange supreme, like the cake type, then it was like an abomination. What was it called? Piled abomination, which is why I have such a hard time with like cake. Well, I've cut cake, that is it. Ends up being a piled abomination, let's be realistic. Like, how like I don't have the patience when you cut a cake to like take it easily out and then have the patience and the hand-eye coordination to like put it on a small plate. It always just topples over or then it like halfly breaks and then you'd like scoop parts of it out and then it's very easily a piled abomination. So I, these two pages seem to be related to each other. Um, four and 47. So page number three is 61 sentence. I had always been proud of my namesake, the great lexicographer. Say that one six times fast. Um, which we've mentioned in the previous video in part two, we found out that that was Samuel Johnson which means that this page relates to the other pages because of the great lexicographer. Then very briefly, it talks about Colney Hatcherson Asylum in London, North London. Then we have Broadmoor, which is an asylum in West London and um, Dartmoor, which is a national park in Southwest England. And then very interesting, actually, a few other ones is talks about William the Schoolman which the only thing that came out, really came out, was William of Ockham. And then it also talks about a razor, and he of Ockham's razor. So I think we can mention that like all of these are related. We mentioned Reisbrach, which is a sculptor, John Michael Reisbrach, who made a statue of Peter King, which is often also seen as the Lord King. Um, and that statue is an All Saints Church, Ockham, Surrey. You see how like how this page like just like 
clicks together perfectly on its own. There is some French sentences in there, which is a poem by Paul Verlaine, not how we say it. Uh, that poem mentions drowning and injury, and I thought that might be interesting or relates to one of the murders, like one of the people is drowned and or injured. So I feel like this page like relates to within the page itself to a lot of things, but not necessarily something that I feel like, oh, I've read this before somewhere. Then we have the last page, which is page 58. <gasps> Mentions the first sentence, my name month, which we've heard before, previous video, we figured it out that was May, again here mentioned May as a name, and it's from her POV. Henry mentioned again. Are we surprised at this point? We don't know who Henry is, we don't know if Henry is a singular or plural, but Henry has done it again. Talks about a third, it's like, to fly the Sarah of his third of the old family lawyer. We're trying third victim, does he want to like do something with the intestines of the third victim, which is kind of strange, but okay, go for it. it talks about a fourth victim, which is the cleaning lady. Um, then I will admit, and there's one that I felt was very slightly interesting, is it mentioned Inspector Barraclaw, um, which is a last name naturally in previous video, we found out that there is also an Alexander who was in a higher level within the police and was uh, like the manager group, maybe inspector of Henry Lowe. Henry worked under him. That is what I found out as the main ones. I think that there are like, it all starts slowly fitting together or there are like a few clues that feel like, okay, I've read this before, or I've seen this before or if we've come across this type of description of name or little bits and pieces of people that I found. Um, what I can say about this is that like, it is very likely that Henry is involved in multiple murders. Whether it's one Henry, what is true. Given the fact that I mentioned the third and the fourth, it could be that Henry is our multiple murderer in the story. So yeah. We're keeping Henry up on the board of possible murderer. Um, we have to figure out if Alexander and Inspector Bearclaw are the same person. The amount of names just keeps rising. Um, the amount of questions exponentially grows. And um, I feel like we're slow, like we see some connections showing up, which I think is very important. So. That was kind of it for today. I don't feel like I have a lot of other big revelations. Just look, those, those are gonna happen. Those are gonna be there, especially now at the beginning, which we're still trying to like figure out all the little clues and see some more connections. Uh, but yeah, I am very much looking forward to doing this more often and seeing you guys next time. You know the drill. If you want to be updated about when a new video comes out for me, which is either King's Shellbone or one of my other book, um, book videos, you can subscribe. Anyways, so awesome to have you all back. And then I see you guys again next time. Up until then, happy reading! Mm -hmm.